welcome to my video. Today we will talk about step up in basic. What is step up in basic? So before we talk about step up in basic, uh, we need to understand what is basic. So something is basic and we step up, right? So we, in order to understand the basic, I'm going to give you an example um, regarding to uh, capital gain, okay? Because this is where the basic come in. Uh, when we do tax, uh, the tax people, they talk about tax, uh, the basic, realize the amount, capital gain, those kind of things. Uh, so we have to understand why we have to understand step up in basics. But we need to understand the basic first, right? Uh, because it will help if you understand step up in basic. It will help you uh, in terms of how to save your money from paying capital gain tax. This is huge because capital gain tax nowadays is a lot and you don't want to pay them. Actually, uh, we have to pay it uh, if we have to, but if we know how to avoid it, we would like to avoid to pay capital gains tax in the right way though. So this example right here. So Bob is a single man who bought his home in 2000 at 490,000. And he had to pay 10000 for title and escrow fee, you know, uh, whatever it is, the closing cost, the expenses that he had to pay for buying the home in 2000 So his basic is his 490000 purchase price plus the expenses that he had to pay to buy the house. So 10000 plus 490 is 500000 And that 500000 called the basic. Okay. So now... In, he lived in the house until 2004, and he, sell, he sold the, the house for 800000 And of course, he had to pay 50000 for uh, all the uh, closing costs, like uh, title escrow fee, transfer tax, a lot of things, including a commission. So all of that together is about 50000 So his realized amount is 800000 the price that he, sell, he sold minus 50,000, the expenses that he had to pay uh, for uh, selling the property. So his realized amount is 750. So to calculate the capital gain amount, we take the realized amount of 750,000, we minus the basic of 500,000. So his capital gain amount is 250,000. And remember, the uh, there is a, a tax exemption for homeowners. He lived in the home for more than two years. So a single uh, person, an individual filing tax, they get exemption on capital gain tax for 250000 Okay. So for, in this case, Bob living by himself, himself, he owned the property by himself. He filed tax individually. So he get tax exemption on capital gains on 250000 So basically he paid nothing for capital gain tax. Awesome. Uh, but the main purpose for this example is to learn the basic. In this case, the basic is 500,000. But good, good thing you learn the capital gain, how to calculate capital gain too. Okay. So now we understand the basic. Let's talk about what is step up in basic. Okay. So I'm going to give you another example. All right. A mother purchased a property 20 years ago for 200,000. Okay, assuming 200000 is the basic, so including the purchase price and the uh, the expenses for buying a home. And when she was alive, she created a living trust. And that living trust uh, is giving the property for the son after she passed away. So in 2021, the mother passed away and the property value was $1 million. And the son uh, is the one who inherited. The, the property uh, at one million dollar, and he he didn't sell the property right away. Instead, he hold it until February twenty twenty two. He he sold the property for one point three million dollars. So the question is, how much is his capital gains, uh, and how much capital gains tax he had to pay? So remember, yeah, because 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 of the living trust. The son will get a step up in basic. What does it mean? It means 
at the time he he inherited the property, the property value was one million dollar. So because he was in a living trust, he 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 inherited the property through a living trust. He got to use the step up in basic. That also means that his mom bought the property at two hundred thousand long long time ago. But by the time she passed away, the property stepped up in basic to a million dollar. So the son now his basic is one million dollar, not two hundred thousand, because of the step up in basic. The son's basic is one million dollar. So when he sell the property at one point three million dollars, he only pay capital gains tax on three hundred thousand dollar. Okay, okay. Let I'm gonna give you another example. Same example, but what if the mom doesn't put the did not create the living trust? Instead, she created a will. If she created a will, the son will have to go through a probate court to get the property. It's gonna take him from ten, uh, six to twelve months, and he had to he has to pay a lot of court fee, attorney fee to get the property. Talking about a hundred to two hundred thousand, all the expense, and it costs so much time. If he, oh, the mom did not have the living trust, she only had the will. Okay. Not only that, when he sell the home at one point three million dollar, his basic is two hundred thousand, not a million, because of the will. Not because he doesn't. If the mom did not create the living trust, his basic is two hundred thousand. Okay. So he had to pay a lot, a lot of capital gain tax. But because his mom created a living trust, and when he get when somebody got the property, inherited the property through a living trust, he or she gonna get step up in basic. In this case, luckily his mom created a living trust, so his his step up in basic is one million dollar when he inherited the property. Okay, all right. So here is the definition of step up in basic. Okay, I want you to read it by yourself and.、Um, You already understand what it is, but I'm going to give you one more example. Okay, this I a lot of people ask me this. The spouse gets step up in basic. Okay, okay. Normally, husband and wife hold title.、Uh, you know, uh, uh, husband and wife、uh, joint tenancy, right? That's how they hold title. And when they hold title, a joint tenancy meaning if one person passed away. The the other spouse will、uh, inherit the entire property. So let's look into the example. A couple purchase a house in 1990 for a hundred thousand dollar and live in the property together. Okay, so they live it's an owner occupied property and they live in it until 2006. Husband passed away. And when the husband passed away in 2006, the home value at that time is 1.2 million dollar. Okay, the wife continued living in the house after her his her husband passed away until in 2020 she sold the property for 1.8 million. Okay, assuming assuming the 1.8 million is the realized amount, that means it it already take into account、uh, all the expenses, the commission, and the Title discography. So, the wife、uh, sold the property, and and her realized amount is one point eight million dollars. Okay. So, what is the readjusted value of the property in twenty twenty?、Um, and what is the? I'm just adding more. So, what is the capital gains? Okay. The time the husband passed away, the property is one point two million dollar, and the wife. She does get the step up in basic, so they don't go back to 1990 with the hundred thousand、uh, purchase、uh, price anymore. But the but the time she sold the property, her capital gains will be 1.8 million minus 1.2 million because the 1.2 is the step up in basic for the wife. Okay, and of course, because she lived in the house for a long time, she lived in it. She also gets the two hundred fifty thousand exemption on capital gain tax.